Man, I could really use a good deal on a graphics card. Hey, buddy over here. I got a really good deal on a 6500 XT. $37, can you believe it? Okay, where'd you get it from? You don't need to worry about that. 37 bucks, I'll take some money. Okay, well, I can't afford the rest of the parts, so we're gonna need a sponsor to pay for that. Today's video is brought to you by ProDark and their EM01NL trackball mouse. The EM01NL is a non-RGB version of the EM01. Rated as one of the best ergonomic mice you can buy by reviewers such as ZDNet. It was launched due to heavy customer demand and boasts a crazy battery life of over three months. The EM01NL was designed with ergonomics in mind and it shows. With this unique adjustable hinge, you're able to customize the trackball angle from zero to 20 degrees according to your needs. Paired with the shape of the mouse, you get a more natural hand position for all day comfort. The EM01 has a super smooth and accurate trackball, allowing for easy navigation. There's no need to move your entire arm for cursor movement, effectively reducing the amount of strain and fatigue placed on your wrist and arm. And we all love it when a peripheral is plug and play. The EM01 has triple connection modes. You're able to connect three devices at the same time and connect via Bluetooth and 2.4G wireless. If you're interested in learning more or in buying the ProDark EM01 today, check out the links in the description down below. And don't forget to use code 15 Bros to enjoy 20% off. Big thanks to ProDark for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. To kick off this cheap build, we got the i3-12100F. This is a four core, eight thread. We got this one used. That's why it's in this little convenient clamshell here, but we got it off of eBay. The good news is Intel, no pins. So you don't have to worry about anything really getting bent. And we paid 70 bucks for this on eBay, which is pretty average going price on the used market. And you can pay a little more and get a used cooler with it as well. We just bought a cooler separately on eBay. These typically go for about 10 to 15 extra dollars. For the motherboard, we use these a lot. This is an ASRock B660M Pro RS. This is a DDR4 motherboard with a little bit of RGB underglow. You actually have four RAM slides, two four pins for the CPU. So you got a pretty good upgrade path with this motherboard here. And we don't need to get fancy. We got some pretty basic RAM. This is Team Group T-Force RAM. We use this a lot. This is a 16 gig kit, 3200 megahertz, dual channel. So it's going to run pretty good and dual channel is pretty important to get those good FPSs. And once again, in traditional trend of things we use a lot, this is the Team Group MP33 512 gig M.2 NVMe SSD because if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Now the part of this build that makes this build so awesome is this really good deal we got on the 6500 XT. If you want to see the full video on this, hit the I in the top right corner. But long story short, we paid 37 bucks for this RX 6500 XT from eBay. We actually bought three of them and sold a couple of them over at PCBros.tech or PC Selling Business. It's basically a Dell OEM card that is brand new out of the box. I have no idea where the seller got all these, but they had over 40 of them. I wish we bought more at the time, but this build being 350 bucks is more of a proof of concept build that if you do deal hunting and find good GPU deals, you can build an awesome budget gaming PC like this. And for the power supply. Did I even say anything? This power supply is one we use a ton off of Amazon. Really, it's either between this power supply or the Seagotep 650 80 plus gold if you want to go that route as well. Both are really awesome power supplies, but 550 watts is plenty for this PC build, and it's readily available on Amazon with Prime shipping. Now, ladies and gentlemen, when we're going this cheap on a PC build with Gen 4 support and all the bells and whistles you need for a modern PC, we got to sacrifice somewhere. And this right here is the TGD Gamer Micro ATX case. It was $27. What can I say? It's a $27 case. This looks a little bit better. Honestly, what is on it though? Did we get the dirty version? Look at this. We got we got some like weird mm. dirt scuff marks. I don't know if that's gonna come off, guys. Mm. I have no idea. This one might have been through it a little bit, but we actually built in one of these on our Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash toaster. We're actually streaming on right now, by the way. There's Twitch chat. They'll say hello, maybe. Yeah, basic migrate ticks case. Hopefully, we can clean this one up a little bit. It's kind of unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. For a $350 build, we're gonna put together something that's gonna perform very well, and we're gonna see how well that 6500 XT and i3 work together. Let's get to building it.
All right, guys, we are playing Halo Infinite, and we are doing a free-for-all today at a max FOV, 1080p, unlocked frame rate. We're doing low settings. There's really no upscaling in this game. So we're, go we're going raw. Going raw, baby. And uh, yeah, we'll see in the benchmarks that the 6500 XT, we got it for $37. You can't complain about 37 bucks, but it is limited in higher end games. I mean, we're getting 60, well, 60 plus FPS, 70 on average in Halo, but it's really an esports only card if you're really going to want high refresh rate. Ooh, that guy was built Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not up to a good start. I've, I've missed shots. That I, feel, I feel a little bit laggy right now. He's feeling. Ooh. Oh, geez. He's back. Ooh. Oh. There it is. Oh, there you go. Go knows his bio. Just switch to the shot. <laughs> that was good. I like that. Hey. Yeah. Oh, that's not the same person. Ooh. Not good. Bot, act bot activities? Bot activities. No. Oh. Mozambique. Yeah. Oh, what the? Oh, that's a shotgun kill right there. Yeah, that's, mm. that's easy. Oh. Oh. I, oh. oh. No. Oh. I could have had my montage. Sign him. Sign him. Rolling that over. Uh, oh, you just I got just killed by it. biology. I don't, I don't know, man. The second my keyboard got weird. But anyways, Halo ran pretty good. So we're pretty good about the you know triple A titles. Try in esports. Fortnite. All right, guys. We're uh, at the end of Fortnite. The end of it. The absolute end. Uh, DX12 a limited frame rate. Uh, these settings. Ooh, maybe that's why we're struggling. I don't have full performance settings going here. Far view distance low textures now. And uh, wow, where are we? I have no idea where we are. But um, yeah, Fortnite, I would say this is probably a game that this system is ideal for. You know, eSports titles, more CPU bound. 6500 XT, even in this game running DX12 is being used almost 100% of the time. Uh, so there's definitely limitations with this card, but when we built the PC for $350 using this graphics card that is new, technically new, it was not used. Um, you know, we can't really complain about the performance here. It's just the card itself is just kind of flawed in certain games, you know? A Christmas skin. How's this work? Oh, that's a radio. Switch to weapon. Oh, I gotta do this. That was good timing. Oh. Wow, that's cracked. Fortnite. <laughs> you chose the wrong bot to talk to, friend. Oh, there's two of them. Oh my god. Well. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, buddy. Ah! Oh no, he should, oh, he stuck me. Oh, he's being smart. He's finally actually using, oh dude, he's done playing. Oh, no! Oh, uh, even playing grounds. He's still running. <laughs> <laughs> what was happening there? Wait, where did my AR go? My, my black, oh, it's this. Oh, I'm using the wrong gun. Oh, okay. Oh, that didn't even hit you, I feel like. I feel like it went over me. Ah, oh, I should have done it all my guns need reloads. Well, I chased a guy, Ooh. got decent performance, and um, yeah, it was a pretty good experience. I'll say Fortnite, fine on this PC. Um, you can get a little bit more RAM too. You're almost maxed out 16 gigs if you really wanted to, but honestly, the performance was really good in these four styles. Expect that for other games. Let's well, really uh, push this thing to its limits. We got Helldivers 2, we got Cyberpunk, and 3 more Time Spy. Let's run those, see what the numbers are, and then talk about the value proposition of this PC, because it was a once in a lifetime deal with the graphics card, but the 6500 XT is a bit of a weird card. All right, guys, we just got done benchmarking this $350 gaming PC, and I would say it was pretty good in esports and even AAA titles. Of course, with our once-in-a-lifetime deal of the RX 6500 XT, it will be hard to replicate this, but whenever we find a good deal on a graphics card, we like to show you guys the gaming PCs you can put together with them, and this one right here is a great example of that. In other games we tested, we got some pretty good results as well. Helldivers 2 was definitely worst-case scenario with this PC, and Cyberpunk we'll talk about here in a second. Low settings, 1080p. We did get 60 FPS once we landed on a planet in the ship, before you drop. It's pretty laggy here and there, but it was playable once you land. And Cyberpunk did push this thing to its limits, but we did not use FSR, which will give you more performance. 1080p medium settings, we got 49 FPS. And of course, our 30 mark time spy score ended up being 5,047, which for the $350 price point is seven cent per point. But one thing to note to compare to another PC that we spent $360 on with the AliExpress build, that ended up with a score of 8,538. So in terms of overall amazing price performance, even though we got this card at 37 it's not the best of the best deals we've done here on the channel, but it's still a good build, still very solid, and I want to hear from you guys. What do you think of this 6500 XT deal we got? And if you got one for 37 bucks, would you pair it with something different? 
So as always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, check out our other two YouTube channels and also our twitch.tv slash Toasty Bros. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And we'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye. This beautiful PC right here will be for sale at PCBros.Tech, and don't worry guys, it'll be nice and cheap with a one-year warranty. PCBros.Tech, we sell all the gaming PCs we feature here on the channel and some one-off customs that don't even make it to the YouTube channel. So go to the website today, use code ToastyBros2 on checkout, you'll save 2% on your next purchase. See you guys later. Goodbye.